Have you ever wondered how smart or intelligent you are? Just because you may have failed in school or not done as well as expected, doesn't mean you lack brains. You might be a different kind of genius. In 1983, in Harvard University, leading psychologist, Dr. Howard Gardner created a new theory, multiple intelligence, which suggests that there are nine types of intelligence that aren't measured by standard IQ tests. So you might be more intelligent in a non-traditional way. Here's a few signs that you might have genius level intelligence. One, you enjoy new ideas. Are you willing to entertain new and unconventional ideas? Apparently, this desire to try out interesting new things is linked to high intelligence. Preferring new activities and variety over routines and trusted patterns is one of the ways that the highly intelligent live. They enjoy brain teasers, new problems, philosophical arguments, and eccentric, uncommon activities. For them, variety isn't the spice of life. Variety is life. Number two, question everything. Do you find yourself questioning everything and being curious about everything around you? Is your brain always buzzing with unanswered questions? This might be a sign that you are highly intelligent. A brilliant mind never stops questioning. You might enjoy reading and researching to find the answers to your questions. You are more observant than most and you enjoy delving deep into the depths of the questions of existence and the universe. Number three, you might be addiction prone or do mood altering substances. While you would think that someone who's very intelligent would stay away from illegal substances, that's apparently not the case. It seems that those who are geniuses are quite willing to indulge in drugs and alcohol. Some of history's greatest minds have been known to be dependent on it. Jean-Michel Basquiat, Stephen King, and Sigmund Freud. Obviously not all highly intelligent people partake in these vices, but there is a real correlation. A 2011 study by Batty and White, which is based on the British cohort study of 1970, took 8,000 people and tested their IQ scores at ages five to 10. They followed up with them at ages 16 and 30 and discovered that the group with higher intelligence scores used cocaine, marijuana, ecstasy, and a combination of drugs. The same relationship apparently exists with alcohol, but this isn't a sign that you should indulge in these substances as addictions can seriously ruin your life. We don't condone drug and alcohol abuse. Number four, you're prone to worry. Highly intelligent people are usually not laid back because of all the constant thoughts racing through their brains. Anxiety may have given early humans a survival benefit in ancient times. Unfortunately, this trait has expanded and for some, they haven't been able to shake it off. The highly intelligent struggle with thoughts and turning them off. They can't shrug off random existential questions and sometimes overthink every minute detail. Number five, you enjoy being alone. Do you really value your alone time? Maybe you spend time meditating or working on your own hobbies. You rarely need people to entertain you, but you aren't antisocial or unwilling to socialize with family or friends. Those with higher levels of intelligence exhibited a lower level of life satisfaction when they socialized more. You may love your friends, but you prefer to problem solve solo. And number six, you have a unique sense of humor. Do you like telling jokes that others find weird and offensive? Do dark jokes make you laugh uncontrollably? Apparently, highly intelligent people have a twisted sense of humor that others don't. A twisted sense of humor is a reliable sign of high intelligence. They hypothesized that the participants who responded to the most offensive jokes or told the most offensive jokes would score the highest in the IQ tests. And surely enough, the participants with dark humor scored higher on the verbal tests. Did you relate to this video? If you relate to most of the above, then you may be smarter than you give yourself credit for. Remember that everyone is smart in their own way, as cliche as that sounds. As similar as we all are, we're also very different. So remember that the next time you question your intelligence. Share your experiences in the comment section below. We appreciate hearing your stories. Leave a like and share this video with a friend if you think it'll help them. As usual, all references are in the description. Thanks for watching. Until next time.